Hi everybody and welcome back. So today we're going to be looking at a little pod device. And when I say little, it's really little and it's thin. So this is the thinner pod kit by Smoke or Smock, whichever way you want to say it. This does hold four mils of e-liquid. Really, really exciting, especially for something so small when so many of these pods are coming out with two mil capacity. This one actually has four. It also does another, a couple other features, which I'm going to show you down below. And I'll show you everything that it comes with. Then we're going to come back up. We're going to vape on it, pros and cons. So let's go take a look at the thinner pod kit. Here we are with the smoke or smock thinner kit. I do have mine in blue. It's got some information here. This is the box that it comes in. And then on the back, you're going to get some kit contents. And then inside the box, you're going to get, you're going to get the warning card. You're going to get the warranty card with the QC verification, as well as the warranty verification. And then you're going to get a user manual, and this will have all the specifications and instructions inside. Included, you will also get a Type-C charging cable. This does take Type-C charging, which is faster charging, which I really like that they give you a cord. Very important nowadays. <laughs> and then, of course, you're going to have your thinner pod kit. Now, this pod kit, it does have a 700 milliamp hour internal battery, and it does do wattage from 5 watts to 25 watts, and it's basically your mouthpiece is right here on the corner. It's a one pod, one and done. So there you go like that. That's how the pod goes in. On the bottom is where your charging port is going to be. Over here, you're going to have your little airflow hole. That's where the air comes in. And then on this side, you're going to have one button. That's going to be your power button. And then on the back, it's going to have thinner 700 milliamp hours designed by Smoke or Smock. Now, as you can see, there is a display window and you have, like I said, the pod. Now, this is really, really thin. The measurements of this are 88 millimeters tall, 43 millimeters wide and 10 millimeters thick. It's really, really tiny. Um, it's not as small as a credit card but or a debit card, but it is really small and it has no weight to it, which I really like. Now inside, you're gonna see your connections are right there that actually connect to the bottom of your pod. Now this pod does hold four mils of e-liquid and it does come with the coil already installed. You cannot change out the coil. It's an already made coil. So when it's gone or when it's time to change it out, you will need to purchase your own replacement pods. Unfortunately, only one pod does come with this kit. Now this does have the meshed 0.8 ohm resistance coil. It does say best at 12 watts. You can go around 12 watts. That's just giving you the best range uh, for the coil that is installed. It does hold four mils of e-liquid. This small of a cartridge and it holds four mils of e-liquid. I think that's amazing. Now to fill it, you have a fill port right here. All you need to do is just open this up and the fill port is really, really a nice size. You, I have not had any problems filling this, putting in any size bottles. I have no issues and then all you need to do, and I do like that this swivels by the way, so that it's out of its place, you don't have to hold it open. And then you just push it down like this and then the pod will go in here. Your mouthpiece is always in the corner, so it's gonna go right like. Your mouthpiece is right in the corner and then it's got the shape right here for you so you can see exactly how it goes in. And it also has a min line, I forgot to mention that. Whenever your liquid gets to that min line is when you wanna fill it. And then all you need to do is just pop it in here. You can see your e-liquid really, really easy, even though this is a little bit, um, sm not smoked out, but like a darker, um, a darker color type of pod. You can see it really, really easy right there. So I don't have any issues with that. Now to turn the device on or off, it is five clicks of your power button. So one, two, three, four, five, we'll turn it on. It's gonna say smoke smock. On the screen, you're gonna see your wattage, you're gonna see your coil resistant, you're gonna see your puff counter, your battery indicator, as well as your battery percentage. I absolutely love when they have the battery percentage. It doesn't keep me guessing like when the battery um, is going down or not, when to charge it. So I really like that. Now to change your wattage, because this does go from five watts to 25 watts, you're gonna press your power button three times until it starts flashing. Once it starts flashing, you wanna immediately start hitting that power button and that will change the wattage. Again, it will go all the way up to 25 watts and it does round robin back to five watts and you can keep going. Once it's done, it, once you're done setting it, you don't have to worry about it. It'll automatically stop like it did now. Now it does have a puff counter. There's two ways for the puff counter to reset. The first way is gonna be when once it gets to 999 puffs, it's gonna reset. The second way that you can actually reset it is to press and hold this power button 
And when you do, it'll actually clear out that puff counter for you. It takes a few seconds, but it'll clear it out as you can see there. So that is pretty much it for this. It does have auto draw only. This button is only to power the device on, off, or change your wattage or clear your puffs, but it's not meant to vape. Um, when you're vaping, it's actually just gonna be an auto draw. And it's a pretty comfortable in the mouth, to be honest with you. I think they came out with something similar to this years ago. Um, I never did get that one for review but it reminds me of that one because of this little corner mouthpiece that's what it reminds me of now i'll go ahead and put it in comparison with this one this is one of my favorite ones that is small like this um and this is the magma aio let me zoom out and this is the magma aio as you can see they're almost the same size except for this one had a removable coil and you can actually change out the coil and things like that but that's about what the size is this is really really small and much lighter than even that I don't have anything else as small as that, but I did want to show it to you. Really, really easy to fill, and that's pretty much it. So let's go ahead and go on top. We'll talk about it, have a vape, and pros and cons. Okay, so we're up on top with the thinner pod kit. So, well, I already took a vape, but I'll take another one because the flavor on here is really, really good. So again, side mouthpiece. melt along it's like a medium to not actually too loose of a melt along but like a between like a medium to loose um type of draw i really like it i love the size of this because it's so small i mean it's literally like the size of my finger really really small lightweight it holds four mils of e-liquid it has a 700 milliamp hour internal battery which doesn't sound like much but when you have something that is a low wattage, something like this, where the best range is around 13 watts, I think it's 12 or 13 watts. I vape this around 15 watts. This is gonna, this has been lasting me like all day. Um, it doesn't really um, go too fast because of the fact that it's a low wattage. Being that this is so small and compact, you can literally just put it in your pocket, put it in your purse and you're ready to go. This button does not work to fire the device. So you could technically leave it on, but if you bump it against something like three times, then you're changing the wattage. So you wanna be careful with that. I would suggest, but if you're putting it in like your front pocket or something, maybe not, but I always suggest to turn off your device when you're putting it in your pocket or your purse and always keep it away from any change or keys as usual, because it does have a battery. Um, but yeah, so let, I, I, I don't know. There's the flavor automatically is going to be a pro for me. The size is a pro for me because it's something that's, this is something that I would take with me like out and about if I was looking for a pod system because of the fact that it's so small, it feels like nothing basically. Really, really nice. I love, love, love the flavor on this. So I really like that about it. Another thing is gonna be that it's got the battery indicator and the battery percentage, which is always a huge pro for me because I like to know exactly where the battery level is at so I know when to charge it. It does have type C charging, which is another pro because it's faster charging. So all, it, all you have to do is just go ahead, plug it up, put it down, and you, you're going to be charged in no time because it's a 700 milliamp hour internal battery. Four mil capacity. I don't know how many times I have to say that. Four mil capacity, I think, is absolutely amazing, especially in something this small, this thin. It's like, it's crazy because everything else is two mil capacity and this is actually four mil capacity. Um, so I think that that's absolutely amazing. It, you can see your e-liquid level, that's another pro. I can see it, no problem whatsoever. I don't have any issues seeing it. Filling it is not an issue either. Um, yeah, it has the charge port on the bottom, which I'm usually not a fan of, but being that this is like a real thin little, like almost debit card size, it doesn't bother me to just put it on the charger. I even standing it up because it's so thin, the wind would probably knock it down. <laughs> so I'm not gonna say anything about that. Being able to reset your puff counter, that's a huge pro for a lot of you out there. You don't have to wait for it to get to 999. You can actually reset it with reset it with the power button um which i think is definitely definitely a good thing because it makes it so easy just press and hold it it'll reset it and you're good to go for resetting your puffs um there are a couple cons the biggest con to this is going to be the fact that it only comes with one pod one pod it is a pod coil or a coil pod um so you cannot change out the coil you would have to just purchase another pod for me, it's definitely a no-no to only include one pod for a couple main reasons. Number one is gonna be the fact that what if it's a dud? What if something's wrong with the pod or the coil or and or the coil? Um, you don't you can't vape it. You can't even use it. So that to me is definitely a big con. Also, 
not having enough time to even know if you like it to purchase another one. So I really feel like they really should, and especially when it's so small, it's so thin, I don't think it would cost them much money to include another one. Um, on something like this, I wouldn't want to, um, personally, I wouldn't want a changeable um, coil option because it's just too small. It's just, it, it's too much weight. I, I just love the fact of putting it, this together Put your e-liquid in, wait five to 10 minutes, start vaping on it, and you're set to go. You just literally just pick it up, vape on it, and go. So I really, really like that. The convenience of this is definitely good. This is not really a con, but I just want to make everybody aware. In the package, in the manual, it actually says that this has a 750 milliamp hour internal battery, but it only has a 700 milliamp hour internal battery. It's actually noted on the device itself, as well as the box but the manual does have it written incorrectly. So I just want to mention that. But other than that, I have absolutely no problems with this. I think that it works so well. I was really, really surprised. I was like thinner. What's it all about? I absolutely love the convenience of this and just being able to pick it up and go. And it doesn't have a lot of weight. I literally just go like this and I'm out the door. <laughs> Four mil capacity, I don't even have to worry about it for a little while because again, it's like a mouth to lung, so it's gonna last you a while. So yeah, so that's pretty much it for my review. I'm gonna go ahead and leave all the colors up here for you so that you can have a look at it. I really think that this would be just a, a nice little pod to carry around with you for emergencies or something. I don't know. I really like it. I, I'm, I know I'm gushing, but anyway, so that's pretty much it for my review. Let me know your thoughts down below and I will see you on my next one.